Hi everyone and welcome to this webinar about uh, uh, SDL Trader Studio 2019. This is a basic course and we will go through all the different features of this software. Um, the first thing I would like to show is uh, I would like to tell you that um, CAD tools uh, are totally different than machine translations. So if you think that the two uh, are um, more or less the same thing, um, I would like to show you that this is not true. So uh, if we continue with our slides, we can see that it is a, 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 um, something very important to know that CAT tools are different from machine translations and see what CAT tools uh, can we have on the market. So we have SDL Trados, of course. Um, we can also have WordFast Pro. We also have uh, um, MemoQ uh, and then Deja Vu. One more, Cafetran, for example. But we also have many others, of course. Um, what are the main machine translations that we can find? Uh, the po most popular one is probably Google Translate. Um, then we have SDL Be Global. And then again, we have uh, Microsoft Word machine translation. Another one that is very popular today is DeepL. Um, but we also have My Memory, and here as well we have we have many other machine translations. Um, the difference is that a machine translation is a system that tries to uh, translate a sentence automatically. No matter how difficult is the sentence, the machine translation will attempt to translate that sentence. And the outcome, of course, um, is not always perfect. It depends on many on many aspects of that sentence um, in order to have a perfect output. Uh, it depends on the difficulty of the sentence. So if the sentence is very long and very uh, complicated, then of course the output will be not very satisfying. Um, but if the sentence is short and uh, uh, easy to construct, then probably we have a nice translation, a perfect translation. Uh, another factor that is important in order to have a good uh, outcome uh, uh, from the machine translation is the language combinations. So if we have two very popular language combinations, for example, uh, English into French or uh, English into Italian or English into German, then of course we will have a much better output than language combinations such as Norwegian Swahili or, for example, into or into Swedish. So uh, um, the language combination is important um, in order to have a good uh, output. Um, when we talk about CAT tools, um, they are uh, softwares where the um, we do not get an automatic translation of anything. So CAT tools do not translate at all. They don't, they are not able to uh, perform a translation. The only thing they can do, but this is a very important thing, is the possibility to store all the sentences that the human translator does and keep them into a storage file called uh, translation memory. And when this uh, translation memory um, is connected to my project uh, and I'm going to translate a, a document uh, with a sentence that is also present in the translation memory, then this sentence will be provided. But the sentence that I get from the translation memory, it has been translated by myself. In the, in the past, or it has been translated, if not by myself, uh, it might have been translated by someone else, but it has been translated by a human translator. 
So this is the main difference between a CAT tool and a machine translation. Even if a CAT tool can also connect a machine translation through uh, just, just to have a just to have this service of automatic translation connected to the uh, translation workflow of the human translator.